guys, welcome back. I've got a knockoff 100 Concepts flashlight cover here. It comes in two sizes. Both sizes are available on Thingiverse for free for you to download and print for yourself. Why pay 17 bucks whenever you can make it yourself for less than a dollar? I've made them in two sizes. I've got the smaller ones that will fit your typical scout lights. Then I've got a bigger one for the dual fuels. All you got to do is print it off. It takes about an hour to print. I printed mine in PETG, 100% infill. Then I took about an 8 inch piece of elastic, fused the ends with a lighter, and then I just feed it through the holes. And then tie yourself a little overhand knot in the end. To put it on, all you gotta do is remove the tail cap off your light if you have one with a cable on it. If you don't have one with a cable on it, it doesn't really matter so much. Hook loop around the back and stick it on the front. I've got my light sitting pretty close down top of my suppressor, so I'm gonna be mindful of how I have this thing oriented so whenever I flip it off, it'll still clear. We'll see how this PETG holds up against the suppressor heat once it gets hot, but you know, it won't uh, hold too well once it gets really hot. So let's try to orient it downwards to where whenever it flips off, it'll come down like this to the side and not be riding right on top of the suppressor. To do that, I'm just gonna kind of twist the elastic before I start to wrap this tape around it. And there you go. It pops off and it folds right there on the side where it's held by the tape. One thing I really like to use on my rifle is friction tape instead of electrical tape or duct tape. Electrical tape seems to get sticky over time and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Duct tape seems to break down and not wear well either. It doesn't hold paint very well. It's a little bit shiny. And once you lose this plastic on top, the fabric beneath doesn't have much strength. But friction tape is just like adhesive impregnated cotton. So after it wears, it just gets to where it's not sticky anymore on the outside, but all the layers stick together on the inside. So this is no longer tacky, but it's not shiny. It's not sticky. Uh, and it holds stuff pretty well. So on my rifles, I generally use some of this friction tape. This stuff is 3M, but I'm sure the other brands uh, are pretty similar. 